Aladdin Creations. Hello friends, welcome to Aladdin Creations. Today we have a fascinating quiz about cells found in CSF or cerebral spinal fluid. CSF is the clear fluid that surrounds and protects your spinal cord and brain. Identifying cells in CSF is crucial to diagnose various neurological conditions such as infections, inflammation, and bleeding. In this interactive quiz, you will test and increase your skills in identifying various cells in CSF. Let's get started. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is lymphocytes. We can see slightly irregular shape, round or slightly indented nucleus. Nucleus occupies a significant portion of the cell volume and a granular cytoplasm. Can you identify this cell in CSF? Correct answer is Mott cell. We can see distinctive foamy appearance. Can you identify this cell in CSF? Correct answer is monocyte. We can see larger in size compared to lymphocytes. Nucleus is often indented or folded. Abundant cytoplasm. Fine granules may be present in the cytoplasm. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is red blood cells. We can see small and round cells. They lack a nucleus, can appear as individual cells or in clusters. The color of CSF with RBCs may range from slightly pink to a distinctly bloody appearance. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is plasma cells. We can see the nucleus has clumped chromatin. The cytoplasm is abundant. The cytoplasm may also contain clear zones. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is Mott cell. We can see distinctive foamy appearance. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is neutrophils. We can see slightly larger cells. The cytoplasm is granular. The nucleus is multi-lobed. Can you identify this cell in CSF? Correct answer is white blood cells. We can see granular appearance. Can you identify these crystals? Correct answer is hematoidin crystals. We can see orange or yellow needle-shaped crystals observed in the presence of high levels of unconjugated bilirubin in the CSF, which can occur in subarachnoid hemorrhage. The crystals may be associated with the presence of red blood cells in the CSF. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is Mott cell. We can see distinctive foamy appearance. 
Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is red blood cells. We can see small and round cells. They lack a nucleus, can appear as individual cells or in clusters. The color of CSF with RBCs may range from slightly pink to a distinctly bloody appearance. Can you identify this cell in CSF? The correct answer is Mott cell. We can see distinctive, foamy appearance. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is lymphoma cells. We can see cells are vary in size and shape, have a large nucleus to cytoplasm ratio. The nucleus can be round, irregular, or convoluted in shape. The chromatin within the nucleus may be condensed, hyperchromatic, darkly stained. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is mast cell, also called as mastocyte we can see dense granular cytoplasm, also oval or irregularly shaped. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is macrophages. We can see larger cells compared to lymphocytes and monocytes. They have a distinct irregular or amoeboid shape. The nucleus of macrophages can be round, kidney-shaped, or irregularly shaped. The cytoplasm of macrophages is abundant. Can you identify these cells in CSF? The correct answer is Mott cell. We can see distinctive, foamy appearance. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is bacteria. They are typically smaller than human cells and may appear as individual cauchy, spherical, bacilli, rod-shaped. Gram-positive bacteria appear purple after gram staining while gram-negative bacteria appear pink or red. Observed as individual cells or arranged in clusters or chains. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is eosinophils. We can see cytoplasm is granular, stains reddish-orange with eosinophilic granules, bilobed nucleus, connected by a thin strand of chromatin. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is lymphocytes. We can see high nuclear to cytoplasmic ratio cytoplasm is typically scant, and nucleoli are not usually visible. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is mast cell, also called as mastocyte. We can see dense granular cytoplasm, also oval or irregularly shaped. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is macrophages. We can see larger cells compared to lymphocytes and monocytes. 
they have a distinct irregular or amoeboid shape. The nucleus of macrophages can be round, kidney-shaped, or irregularly shaped. The cytoplasm of macrophages is abundant. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is red blood cells. We can see small and round cells. They lack a nucleus, can appear as individual cells or in clusters. The color of CSF with RBCs may range from slightly pink to a distinctly bloody appearance. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is macrophages. We can see larger cells compared to lymphocytes and monocytes. They have a distinct irregular or amoeboid shape. The nucleus of macrophages can be round, kidney-shaped, or irregularly shaped. The cytoplasm of macrophages is abundant. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is nucleated red blood cells. We can see these cells are larger than normal red blood cells and dense nuclear material. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is clumped choroid plexus. We can see multinucleated and observed in clusters. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is Mott cell. We can see distinctive foamy appearance. Can you identify these cells in CSF? Correct answer is mast cell, also called as mastocyte. We can see dense granular cytoplasm, also oval or irregularly shaped. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. Don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel and hit notification bell icon to meet with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.